Hi everybody, I'm Missy Matthews, joined by Bob Labriola. OTA 6 is in the book labs the first two weeks. Next week is mini camp, which is a little different. Is there anything you're looking forward to seeing next week? Well, you know, yeah, this is a, a something I always say at this time of the year. I'd like to see everybody stay healthy mm -hmm. uh, so that they can go into training camp, able to practice regularly, because I really think that's when guys have an opportunity to get better. Uh, I think that there's a lot of different guys at a lot of different positions in this particular on this particular Steelers team going into this particular training camp that that's going to benefit. And if some of those guys are not able to do that, you know, it retards their individual um, progress mm -hmm. and maybe the progress of the whole team. I think it's also, you know, you have a new defensive coordinator. Matt Canada's here, but everyone has said how much the offense is changing. Mm -hmm. Just getting your feet wet in terms of learning the playbook and as a lot of players have said, getting to know your teammates. Um, and this is different being that, you know, the past two off seasons haven't really been true off seasons that we're used to being back out here on the field for OTAs and minicamp. Right, and you mentioned Matt Canada, so let's just stay with the offense for a little bit new quarterback yeah okay and so, which one <laughs> well right which one and then if you're uh, to be an integral part of his, the supporting cast for that which one and you're not available mm -hmm. as i said it just retards your progress individually and possibly the whole unit all right not only are we excited because of the practice the seven on seven i should say <laughs> uh but there were steelers alumni from various generations here at practice day which was great to see i kind of forgot that we even did this pre-covid uh but when we found out they were going to be here just good to see the interaction not just between you know coach tomlin and people who know them and have been around them but a lot of the new steelers are probably like hey i think that's a hall of famer over there yeah mel blunt still looks yeah. like he can play yeah you can yeah. still pick him out of a crowd 50 yards away <laughs> um but yeah, and I think that that's something that's kind of unique to this particular franchise. Uh, there is, you know, they always talk about the brotherhood. Mm -hmm. well, this is this is an example of that. I mean, guys, generations uh, before these particular guys played, maybe generations before some of these guys were born. I was going to say that. Um, <laughs> but there is still that kind of bond where you know you wore the black helmet with the logo on, on the only on the one side. Um, you're kind of joined forever. And it is always an open door policy, but good to see when you get a large group mm -hmm. and they come out and able to interact. And one of the guys who was back here out at practice was Steeler, former Steelers linebacker Ryan Chazier, and I had a chance to catch up with him. What's it like coming back with the alumni and just being around football again? Uh, it's, it's really exciting. You know, with COVID, it was just a lot of things that was going on and you can't really be around the facility, but it's always fun just getting back here, spending time with the guys, getting to know the younger guys, but also just talking to a lot of the coaches and the staff. And it's always good to be back. Is it weird that there are so many new faces now? It is very weird that it's new faces because we didn't really get to meet a lot of people with COVID. Mm -hmm. So two years feel like 20 years. So now half the team is almost a different team. So it's, it, it, it's crazy to me. Uh, one guy who's not out here, Stefan Tuitt, announced his retirement. You guys were the same draft class, very close. Uh, what can you just say about his career and what he was able to accomplish? I mean, uh, Stefan was such an amazing guy. He was some, somebody that was always great to be around. He was a hard worker and one of the best teammates I had to uh, play with. Um, he constantly uh, made big plays when we needed him, so it's, it's really sad to see him go. But, you know, uh, when it's somebody's time, you know, uh, it, one thing I'm actually happy is that he got to decide when he was when he wanted to retire. All right, and uh, Stefan Tuitt retiring on Wednesday Lab seems to be uh, the big news of the week coming out of here uh, from the Steelers organization. I think no one could say they were surprised. I think it really was maybe a 50-50 decision on his part. I know Cam Hayward spoke in the locker room today about the brotherhood that you mentioned and how he, Kevin Colbert, Mike Tomlin, Tyson Aluwalu were reminding to it, if you get back to here, we will support you, but also said he understands his decision and everything that he's gone through. Yeah, I mean, I can't I can't even imagine, you know, what Stefan Tuitt has been going through. Um, so, I mean, I don't even want to try and go there and, and put myself into his shoes or what he was thinking mm -hmm. or what came down to his decision. Um, so, yeah, as, as many players have said, Mike Tomlin has said, um, it's just unfortunate. I just hope that he and his family find peace and, um, you know, he gets on with the rest of his life. and. 
uh, find something that he enjoys as much as he enjoyed playing football. Yeah, and congratulations to him. He just graduated officially from Notre Dame, so uh, a little different than football, but it's good to see Jerome Bettis doing the same recently as well. But in terms of that defensive line, we know DeMarvin Leal was drafted uh, this this current draft, but in terms of depth, what are you seeing there on the D-line? Well, I know fans, the first reaction to this is, okay, who can we go out and sign? Uh, and this is not a time of the year, the NFL calendar, where there's a lot of people out there available. So I really don't see that as an option at this current time or as a remedy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe the Steelers do explore some things. Maybe there is some uh, a little additional interest in when rosters are cut. Um, but, you know, I really think right now what they're going to try and hang their hat on is the development of some of the young guys. You know, Isaiah Loudermilk, uh, DeMarvin Leal for sure, Montrevious Adams is another guy, maybe Henry Mondo uh, somehow fits in, mm -hmm. and you know, you got to go up to the Basilica, light a candle when you're at St. Vincent and pray for good health of number 97 and number 94 because um, I don't even want to think about if something bad would happen to either one of those guys. Absolutely. All right, Labs, thanks for joining me. Uh, OTA is done, as we said, next week is mini camp, and of course, we'll have coverage for you from the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex. Thanks for joining us, and have a great weekend, everybody.